you always hear about um, laser edge finders and how great they're working but nobody shows you how to build one so I'm going to try and put together a laser pointer so you can see how basically simple these are now you're going to need some basic things you're going to need a project box you're going to need a USB cable uh, some shrink tubes uh, like that or like the small one you're going to need uh, to take a old USB cable one with this kind of end on it cut it off and then strip it back about three inches that's going to be your power line now the red and the black are your power and the two smaller ones are for data and you don't need them so just cut them short now uh, I hunted and hunted and hunted for a project box and I couldn't find one and I was going through one of the stores like Shopco, Permita and I came across earplugs with a box to hold them in well this was normally 379 but it was on a clearance sale for 99 cents so I got a pair of earplugs to use while I'm running my CNC machine and a box that's going to be for my laser pointer for 99 cents um, lasers they're really cheap nowadays I think I paid about three bucks for this one and I got the one with the crosshairs and you adjust the uh, the lens up here to get your fi a finer adjustment so what I did was and this this is they range from three volts to I think I saw one that was five volts this is three or three and a half volts all right so I took the box and I drilled out mounting holes I drilled out a hole for the cable I drilled out a hole for the switch and I drilled out a big hole for the laser now I got uh, I'll be stopping and starting the video as I have to heat up some tools here but you put your get your laser and I'm gonna put it right flush with the case of the laser just like that now um, you're gonna probably see a short gap here I'm heating up the uh, hot glue gun now you're gonna have to just kind of eyeball so the laser is pointing straight down and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hot glue in to the bottom on both sides and a little bit into the top to hold it in position oh yeah you're gonna need uh, the smallest little switch on off toggle switch you can find I got this through Mauser and I'll tell you Mauser is one of the best electronic supply houses in the country friendly people more than willing to bend over backwards to help you I got these resistors and this is the variable you're gonna have to put a resistor in line with your laser and your power and then measure the voltage drop off the laser and so that you come out with the right voltage now I'm plugging it into my uh, the computer I have on my CNC machine 
and I had to use uh, 200 I had to use 280 ohms um, some other people have uh, come uh, on the forums have said they they got by with one that was uh, only 150 ohms or thereabouts but that on on my laser with my computer dropped it down um, to like 2.2 volts which wasn't enough so I had to change uh, and uh, tie two uh, resistors together and um, that brought me I think 3.5 3.4 to 3.6 volts and it works great nice nice bright color or uh, yeah cro um, laser point <laughs> beam I guess you could say it now I'm gonna take the resistor and attach it directly to the switch like that and then snip off the excess now I'll solder those and that all together then I'll attach the red wire to the other side and I'll attach the red wire from the laser to this side of the resistor and I'll use shrink tube over to protect the insulator uh, uh, from any shorts now because there's a double resistor I have to use the bigger one but then I also use uh, the smaller one um, on the line to slide into here to slide into this so it's got something to grab onto so now I'm waiting all right I think my glue guns hot and put some hot glue right in there and then reach up in the top just like that okay so now we've got the laser in place and when that cools down it'll be locked in perfect <coughs> now because of the vibrations of the CNC once I get this mounted and adjust the focus then I'll put a dab of hot glue on the lens so that that doesn't move okay now I think my soldering iron might be hot enough and just like that okay now I need let's see now now I've got to attach the red to the resistor so I'm gonna put a short piece of this small tube over I'm gonna measure out this so it's a little bit longer and I'll slide that over as well okay now we want to get a good wrap
and cut off the excess. And solder that on. Okay, so now we're going to run the small run the small tube up like that and we'll heat that at the tip of the soldering gun to shrink it up okay now I'm going to bring up the heavier stuff Shrink this down. That looks like it's about shrunk as much as it's going to get. Okay. Now, put the switch in the box. washer and nut tight enough okay now I'm gonna bend that down so it sits right against the cover like that nestle that in there like that now we're gonna bring in the USB cable Boy, I really made that hole just right. Okay. Now, even though the hole is pretty snug, I'm going to take a little Ziploc. Yeah, why don't they do it this way? Take a Ziploc, and I'm going to put it over that whole cable, and bring it down in there. Oops. Okay, so now, now I've got a pull string, so it ain't going to get pulled out. Now, you could do it that way, or you could uh, put some hot glue on it. Either way it works. Alright, so now, the black goes to black, so I'm going to take... The heavier stuff, the heavier or the bigger hole, and I'm going to just cut me a piece, yeah, about like that. I'm going to tie these two together.